Hi everybody, uh, I'm giving a little advice session uh, related to eyes and eye health. Uh, this is specifically for people with ALS, uh, although it's the truths of this health are, uh, yeah, they're general for everybody. Um, so somebody told me uh, who's dependent on eye gaze technology that they're having more problems and sometimes it's a technology but there are a number of people with ALS people having uh, problems using eye gaze technology who used to be able to use some of them at least used to be able to use well and they're all having typically the same type of problem and um, so uh, although I'm not suffering from that specific symptom I have worked on my eye health before and there are a number of things that you can do. Uh, firstly, there's a thing called pinhole glasses. Um, so pinhole glasses are like this. You can see us hundreds of holes there and it excludes a lot of light and um, it forces your eyes to look through those little pinholes and it increases the effort your eyes make to focus on something because and there's nothing else for them to focus on so it really makes them work in a very specific way it's excellent for strengthening your eyes uh, your focus so that could be uh, a solution um, there are a couple of uh, aspects to it to, to comment on well, one is they work best in a bright environment so if you're in a dark environment you're simply not going to get enough light in which to focus so you can use them for reading because you have that difference between dark and light it still has to be in a bright environment the page still needs to be well lit um, or for television or computer um, possibly eye gaze as well I don't think that's the place to start but it's definitely worth checking out your eyes may be more tired if you're doing this well um, and that's just normal because you're actually exercising muscles controlling your eye movement um, uh, obviously they um, you don't operate heavy equipment when you're wearing these and um, I don't think that's really a problem for this uh, group um, and uh, Yes, also I'd be very careful a bit about doing anything walking or holding anything. Um, physical movement with it uh, needs requires a little bit of caution because you have reduced uh, information coming in from your eyes. You don't really see the periphery which we would normally see. So you can only see exactly what your eyes are focused on and not anything else. Um, so you have to bear that in mind and use them safely. Second piece of equipment that uh, can use is this, let's bring it in, um, the red light therapy. Um, and red light therapy is very healing for muscles and for tissues. Uh, you can find out lots of information about them on the net so I'm just really going to draw your attention to it. So this unit, the recommended time for using on your regular body is 10 to 15 minutes with a distance of about 4 inches. Um, so for using it on the eyes which are a lot more sensitive, uh, I use it for half that time, double the distance with my eyes closed. So my eyes are closed and um, double the distance and also I use movement as well so that the um, light isn't staying just in one place but it's really moving around and that'll go through all the eyeballs uh, the tissue behind and surrounding muscles as well so that's a very passive way of healthily stimulating your eyes um, and keep communicating and one more thing, if your eyes are sore, it could be tired, it could be dry, use eye drops. Make them feel better. 
and feel better too.